Hello everyone. So guys, now you can attend the live classes from all the top educators on Arn Academy by getting the Arn Academy Plus subscription. And to get the subscription, download the Arn Academy Learning app and click on the plus. Then follow the further steps. Also, you can get ten percent discount by using the referral code mentioned on the screen. And thank you very much. Now let's start the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss a very important topic of atomic and molecular physics. And in this video, we are going to discuss that how can we write the spectroscopic terms, okay, corresponding to the given elements. So here, I'm going to discuss three examples with you, and we will talk about this thing that what are the steps which we need to take to write the spectroscopic terms. So let's start the video. And first of all, I would like to tell you that what is the spectroscopic terms notation. So in general, we can write it down it in this way. That is two s plus one l j. Okay. So this is the spectroscopic terms notation. And now, what are the steps we need to take to write the spectroscopic terms uh, corresponding to any given element? So here, firstly, we are going to talk about the hydrogen. If we want to write the spectroscopic terms corresponding to hydrogen. So, what are the steps we will take? First of all, we are going to write its electronic conf configuration. So, when you will write the electronic configuration corresponding to hydrogen, you will get one s one. Okay? And if anybody is having any doubt in this thing that how we are going to write the electronic configuration, so for that, uh, first of all, you can go through the above principle. Okay? And some uh, basic things as well to know about this thing. And I hope that it will be clear to everyone as well. But still, if there is someone who is having any doubt, so please go through the basic principles we are having. Okay. So guys, uh, hydrogen. You can write the electronic configuration as one s one. Now the next step is to know about this thing that what will be the value of l corresponding to this. So l is the orbital quantum number. Okay. So l will be equal to zero. Now how can we write l is equal to zero in this case? So if somebody is going to think it in this way, so guys, let me tell you, we are having the different orbits s, p, d, f. Okay. So when we are having s, p, d, f corresponding to these orbits, if you want to write the values of l, so for this one it is zero, for this one it is one, two, and three. So these are the values of l, and here we are having one s one. So what is presented in this case? That is s. So what will be the value of l? That will be zero. Now, if we are going to talk about the spin, so spin will be half. Okay, for this hydrogen or for this one, the spin will be half. Next thing is, what will be the value of j? So guys, j is the value from l minus s to l plus s, and it's modulus as well. So if you are going to write zero minus half, and you will take its mod, so you will get half. Again, if you are going to write zero plus half. You will again get half, and when you will take its mode, like both the in both the cases we are getting just half. Okay, so j is equal to half. This is what this is. L minus s to l plus s. Okay, this is the mode. Okay, so what we have done? So we are just getting one value here. That is j is equal to half. Okay. Next thing is what you need to do once you are familiar with all these values, write it in. This way, that is two into s plus one. S is half here, so two into half that will give us one, okay? And one plus one will give us two. Two l j. L will be uh, something which we are going to decide with this term. So here l is zero, hence it will be s. So two s half, where j is half in this case. And as I have mentioned, this thing that corresponding to the values of l, what we are going to consider at this place. So I hope that it will be clear from here that since l was zero, so it is s which we have mentioned here. Okay. Now let's talk about the lithium as well. So when we are going to write the electronic configuration for lithium, we will get one s two, two s one. Okay. So here again, uh, you will look at the last term. So it is two s one. What will be the value of l in this case? That will be zero because again here we are having s. Okay, s orbital. So it is going to give us l is equal to zero. Then what will be the spin? That will be half, okay. And what will be the value of j? J we know that it is from l minus s to l plus s, okay. So again you will just get half from here. Whether you are going to find l minus s or l plus s, when you will take their mod, you will just get half. 
So again, you are getting the same thing here. So it is going to give you 2s half because it was the same, uh, like all the terms were having the same values as this case. So the uh, spectroscopic term corresponding to these two cases are uh, like same. Okay. Now, next is borrowed. If we are going to talk about boron, what we will do, we are firstly going to write its electronic configuration. So when you will write the electronic configuration for boron, you will get 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Okay, again, what uh, we need to look at, so it is 2p1. Okay, the last term we are having in the electronic configuration. Now, since here we are having the p, what will be the value of l? It will be 1. Is it fine? For p, it will be 1. So we are going to write L is equal to 1. What will be the spin? Spin will be half. So let's write S is equal to half. Okay. And the value of J will be L minus S. Okay. To L plus S. And the mode. So let's write it as 1 minus half. We will get just half. 1 plus half. We will get 3 by 2. So just these two values we are going to write in this case. Okay. Next thing is what will be the spectroscopic terms for the boron. So it will be, see, you are having two values of J. So corresponding to these two values, you are having the two spectroscopic terms. And since L is equal to 1, what you are going to consider, that is P. So it is going to be 2P half because S was half. Okay, so when you will put it on half, you will get 2 into half plus 1. That is going to give you 2. 2P and then J is half in this case. Then 2P 3 by 2 because J was also having the value 3 by 2. Okay. So just in this way, you will be easily able to write the spectroscopic terms. And guys, I hope that this is going to help you to solve the questions in the atomic and molecular physics. And you can also go through the previous year question papers, okay? And if you will find such kind of questions, you can solve them. You will be able to know about this thing that only these are the steps we need to take to solve such kind of questions or to write the spectroscopic terms, okay? It is one of the very important topic of, of atomic and molecular physics. Along with this guys, there are many other points or the topics in the atomic and molecular physics which are important. I will discuss those topics in the upcoming videos. So guys, if you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon uh, which you will get once you are going to click on the subscribe. You will get the bell icon as well. Click on that bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos on this channel. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. And keep on watching all other videos on this channel. And if you are having any queries, any doubt, so you can comment about that. I will try to clear that doubt, okay, regarding the exam or regarding any topic or any subject. So let me know that, okay. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video till the end. And you can share the video with your friends as well as if you like the video, please like it, okay. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.